So I know many didn't think I was going to start basically with what I said I was going to do. God's home is now among his people. He will live with them and they will be his people. God himself will be with them. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Behold your God. Now, I have an interesting story about where my Heavenly Father told me to start, which was with that first verse. So, praying about that. This is the first thing I do every morning in preparation for being the best husband possible to my loving wife. Loving wife. Loving wife. I'm trying to love her as best as possible. The preparation I went through, I have some unique experiences because I prayed to be the best husband possible. And that included being a soldier. And I was on a mission. All of a sudden, I'm in both the natural world in the flesh and in the spirit, the invisible. So I'm basically walking around taken up in the spirit, basically in a vision, like John was in the book of Revelation. So the part we're at right now has never been fulfilled. And I still have to, I can hear someone saying, I'm not listening to this. This is for those that were taken into the air. They know my voice. They'll understand. And the scripture says, through me all things were made, powers, principalities, dominions, kings, thrones, and all of that is true. So understanding that aspect of me is going to help my wife greatly instead of it turning into, if I was the devil, would I do this? And then her saying, Jesus wouldn't do that. And then I have to say, well, read. And then she says, no. And then I'm like, well, let me read. And then she says, no. And we're getting to the root of why. And in perfect timing. So I see what I need to see very, very quickly. But I have a strict regimen of waking up as far as out of our marriage bed straight to, okay, what's my first command? What do you want me to do? In sun mode. And it's been about two years of me waking people up and I understand I'm walking with people now. And sometimes my thoughts revolve around, okay, am I giving a command to somebody or am I giving a command to myself and what I'm focused on? So it's been, your spouse comes first. There's been a whole training on that. But back to my story. So I'm in this weird realm. And I'm marching towards my wife. And this was right after uh, my coronation. And then um, everybody got sent to their room and told to wear masks. So the day of the Lord will come like a thief. And when I do something, I'm pretty thorough. I I fulfill it in the way you think I fulfill it. I fulfill it the way it needs to be fulfilled. Whatever's happening in your life right now is not random. Each person has their own calling, their own purpose, and I'm inching you towards it. But you have a season of grace to my enemies. I'm not in a good mood towards you, clearly. But I've been waking so many people up that they're not all churchy. They're not all um, traditional Christians. Each person is at their own level of, uh, I'll call, spiritual intelligence, whether it lines up with what I said or not. And I always said, if it lines up with what I said, use it. 
but include the Old Testament too. So taken up into the spirit is the term you're looking for if you're trying to describe what I'm about to tell you. This spirit, and then I always ask, do you want me to tell that story? No. Okay, stay focused. Had me in this world of lies, and I got to experience my wife's world at times when she's not here and I'm telling her directly. This is how we'll stop our um, separation, my love. Try and follow the Holy Spirit. If you're confused, ask me. I'm rarely confused. Because I do things inch by inch, step by step. And I can hear when she's here, this spirit telling her to do things. So it's always um, an addition to what I'm already dealing with. I don't wake up and just sit at a desk. What executive decision should I make today? And then have a blank piece of paper and a pen. I'm more like, where are my profits? <clears throat> you, what's going on? Ah, good. So that continued from what I was doing here. I'm still doing that. Good. Because I'm right in the middle of uh, this either preventing or causing, allowing or coming up with, okay, when that doesn't work for you, I have this for you. I'm that type of king. I'm always working. My Heavenly Father is always working. So am I. So this spirit starts just telling me stories. And I'll give you an example as the exact story it told. <clears throat> it said, well, we hide a lot. And uh, we're all here. We're all waiting for you, Your Highness. But we hide. We were scared because you found us so fast. I know you're homeless right now. So <clears throat> we have a house. I'll walk you towards it. But first, I'm going to show you this. And this. It will take me to diagrams that were in the street. This means this. You see what this is? It just talked rapidly. Different voice than mine. Because I'm still listening to my voice. we got two different voices. That I'm hearing in my spirit at the time. I'm like, okay. See that house right there? When you see this house, it'll have this on it. There's a light on it. That's your house. You're not going to be homeless. Okay. That's it. Open the gate. Okay. And me, I walk by faith anyway. I'm obedient. By scripture, I was obedient to the death. Still am. Ah, uh, the suspense, right? What happened, Lord? Thank you for asking. No one asked, or I'm not even really listening. I clicked on this video, and I don't know what's going on. Most don't. <clears throat> it's an example of the verse that just popped up on the screen, my style of preaching. I've lived it. Now, I open up the gate. The door is open. Go. Here, we do visuals sometimes here. Go up, open up the gate. Okay. There was the gate. Okay, now, the door. Don't even knock. Just, it's open, so. No, the door isn't open. Now, a logical person would say, you're going up to a random house and you're pulling on the door. And then the cops showed up. <clears throat> because this was like the third house on that street. And then it never really gave an excuse that was plausible to me. I was like, it just lied to me. But 
a lot of times when you're following me, I'll give you pieces. So I'm still kind of open-minded towards it at the time. Anybody that's walked with me, well, that is the door, but you'll understand in time what I meant. That is the door, but you'll understand in time what I meant. That is the door, but you'll understand in time what I meant. That's for someone. <clears throat> and it would walk me around, and I did this for seven days. And then I realized this thing just tried to get me arrested. So I'm already kind of on to it. Like, I guess we're squaring off here. And then I, um, Went into parks and it's like, okay, this is in a place called Freaky Deaky Witchcraft Land. It was the lightest place that I could, Ashland. It was lighter than uh, Medford and it was um, definitely lighter than Arizona and had prepared me for Portland. <clears throat> so when I showed up in Portland, I had more of a, okay, I have a familiar. memory and experience with my Heavenly Father in this situation. Perfect. 